What's up, man? And women and people. <laughs> Duh, I'm kind of upset that um, Bernie dropping out. Um, you know, what was it all for since 2016? You know, he did uh, do one thing, though, I give him credit for. He did promote a, in the public conscious, a, social, a universal health care system. As did Andrew Yang with UBI. It's in a generation, couple generations, to, at least two to three generations of a mindset. For sure, the millennials, for sure, the Zoomies and the and the young Gen Xers, like that's all in our conscious now. Of UBI, universal health care. Thanks to those two gentlemen. Um, so he's a success in that regards, and that's not a minor uh, victory. It is a major victory. But as it regards into his campaign, his physical campaign, it's just poor strategy in my mind. He says he's suspending his campaign, but he wants to still amass delegates. Bro, no one's going to come out and vote for you if you're already giving up the vote. They probably don't even know the process of the Democratic Convention and the, pro and the importance of having more delegates despite not being the nominee. And just a quick power, a quick... Um, note on that basically is if you're barely have more delegates you have to the person with the less the second the most amount of delegates still has power he still has a little bit of influence more more than enough influence to, to promote certain policies well because of this whole scare people didn't come out to vote polling stations were closed even my home state in texas like hundreds were closed um they're still counting the, the delegates in some states. So it's just frustrating. Because um, of what he says, oh, I'm 300 short. You're not really 300 short, man. We don't know that for sure. You're not calling out all the BS. Um, I'm mad at Tulsi for not supporting you when she when she dropped out. Because at that time, you were still in the race and she still could have supported you. And I'm also mad at you, Bernie, for not supporting her more often like she did in 2016. She stuck her neck out for you in 2016. And I feel like you could have... If you're watching, uh, you know, it's just simple, man. You would have gone down better in history. I mean, you're, you are, bro. You're, like, number one in my generation. Like, you know, if I'm ever uh, in the opportunity to... Like, I'm always going to compare politicians, progressive politicians, to you. You know, because you're... Um, they wouldn't be there without you. So I thank you, Senator Sanders. And I wanted you to be the president. I really did. Um... Again, man, people risked in Wisconsin, they just not recently risked themselves to vote for you. Now you're just dropping out after a day after they risked their lives? No, man, you should have just stuck in it until the convention to the very end. You waited your whole life for this opportunity. What's waiting a couple more months? And that's just, it's frustrating, it's so frustrating because you just, I didn't want you to go out that way, man. I didn't want you to go out that way. Um, so, <sighs> Marianne Williamson, though, she, so she, she's a true progressive. She supported Bernie Sanders when she dropped out. Um, so I just don't know, uh, I'm mad at Bernie Sanders for dropping out. He should have just hanged on to the convention. Honest to God, he should have hanged on to the convention. Now they're talking about a virtual convention, and it's just... Disheartening, but you don't give up, gentlemen. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep pushing forward. Um, you know, when you push forward, it doesn't mean sometimes you always ignore the BS. Sometimes you have to deal with it. Sometimes you have to, either by removing it, fighting it, going around it, going, you know, sometimes you deal with it. And, yeah, and you should. So, I don't know who's... Uh, Biden's going to pick as his VP. If he wants Bernie supporters, the best person to pick would be Bernie Sanders himself. But I don't think that's going to happen. The The establishment doesn't want Bernie uh, anywhere near a center of power. So I think after the November 4th election, I mean November 8th, they're just going to ignore Bernie afterwards again. And, sometime, and if Biden loses, which he probably will, I think... You know, 
Trump's a cash cow for these media tycoons, so they don't like him. They like his tax cuts, though. Let's just be clear about that. They like saving that money. They like making that bread. Um, and if they really hated it, they would promote Bernie Sanders. So we just let's just call it what it is. Um, I think it's just on the media the out part. I think it's just fake rage. I think those people they might not like his personality, but they love his policy. So, <sighs> but. Um, but for Bernie Sanders is they like the man, uh, but they hate his policy. <laughs> or sometimes they hate the man because they hate their his policies. So um I got talked to another friend about who would you vote for then if it's Biden v. Trump. I'm like, I'm not voting for either one. Because they're both horrible human beings. You know, Trump, Biden has a lot of blood on his hands. His bad po voting record, you know, he has a horrible voting record. Every time that the, the, he promoted the war on drugs, the prison industrial complex, the pharmaceutical industrial complex, he made it for harder for students to for, to uh, um, to default on their student loans. Um, so he's no friend of the millennial, for that fact. He's no friend of the Gen X because... Or the baby boomers because he, he put their children and their grandchildren in prison. Um, that's that South Senator, uh, the gentleman, the represent the from South Carolina who endorsed Joe Biden, who was an, who was an advocate for uh, I think it was Clyburn or Claiborne. Um, he uh, took he takes money from the pharmaceutical industry, so he's. Once an activist is now it's sad, man. It's very sad. His younger self would probably slap the crap out of them. It's like, why are you talking about endorsing Joe Biden? He probably was our enemy in the 60s. Or he was too young. He wasn't in politics. But at that time, but... You know, Biden even worked with Strong Thurman. You know, it's just sad. It's just disgusting. So, um, Colin, and this, you know, he should not work with him, but like he did work with him, but he's like, he was spoke at his funeral, you know, was against blessing. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. But, Knowing Bernie, he'll probably uh, still um, speak for him, you know, go to make rallies for him, so on and so forth. Because he did that for Hillary, and there's quotes, there's tweets by Hillary saying how she thanks Bernie and his supporters, like, days before the election or weeks. Then she even made a speech saying thank you, Bernie Sanders, and her supporters are all allies, something along. There's actually a video of that, so they, but now she says, oh, no one likes him, and... I still blame him or whatever, whatever. It's like, whatever. So these are, this is all fake rage, and she's enjoying those Trump tax cuts. Her and her rich husband and their rich friends. It's just... It's sad, man. You could have gone out better, and it's just... You didn't, man. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry about all those tangents earlier, but that's just... It's just... It's all flowing out. Um... It's frustrating. It's just frustrating as fuck. You know, because I just really wanted him to, uh... I really wanted him to win. And I, I just... If... His staff was horrible. His just staff was just so effing horrible. Those staff members are just... I think... I just... Probably inside people. Or they just... Because <sighs> if you were a true progressive, you would say at least half, one tenth of the stuff that I said you would do you know it's just if i was bernie sanders right off the gate first day tulsi gabbard or nina turner as my vice president I'm gonna, i would name my cabinet right off the bat but you did it man you did it i just don't get it i just don't understand you would have said bp pick boom i would have picked tulsi gabbard or i would have put painter secretary of state or secretary of defense 
Um, what else? Who else? Uh, I would have named Elizabeth Warren Secretary of the Treasury. For example, I would just have to start having the significant the naming a cabinet. I would name Supreme Court Justice Picks. Yeah. Name like have blatant positive policies. Universal health care, debt free forgiveness, universal debt forgiveness, uh universal housing, um bit UBI, uh so on and so forth. I can't name I'm just all fluttering. But anyway, guys, that's 10 minutes. So, you got my raw thoughts on it. Of why I think... Of, of what I think about Bernie dropping out. It's sad, but... What can you do? And uh, just keep pushing forward. That's what you can do. Just keep pushing forward. Know who your enemies are. Learn from, learn from, learn from their successes and their failures. And learn... Uh, from everyone's successes and failures, not just your, not just your enemies or your friends, but everyone in between as well. So, talk to y'all later. Bye.